All right, so we're picking. We are doing our picks for uh, our top picks for winning the. You said World Championships, Eddie, right? I did say World okay, Championships. Okay, we've hit yep. the record Burn button. Twenty twenty three. Right. Yeah. So okay, Burn twenty twenty three. Who's winning the Boulder, the lead, the speed, and the Boulder plus lead combined? We got to pick one name for each of those disciplines and for each gender, and we get a single wild card. Uh, a single wild card per discipline or in total. In total, in total, so you get card. a single wild card across all eight of those categories as your little safety pick. Um, okay, let's. What discipline should we start with? Should we start historically and start with the mother discipline of lead climbing? Is that where we? Is that where we begin? Okay, our picks. Let's start with women's just to warm us into this. Um, Yanya Yanya Garnbrit is my uh, is my pick. Brave, I know. And again, <laughs> is it two for Yanni Garnbrit? Yeah. So this is lead, right? You this said is lead. lead. Women's this is lead. lead. Yeah. Uh, well, for the sake of, you know, throwing a wrench, I'll say I Mori. Hot shit! Damn, my I'm questioning right now whether I make like a, a silly a silly guess like a like a Jane Kim as my as my wild card for lead. Because that would be so satisfying, but I don't believe that's going to happen. So I'm going to save it. Um, let's do men's lead. Um, I'll, I'll guess I'll go first for this discipline, and then for the next discipline, we'll figure somebody else out. So we have gone. Uh, we just went Yanya, Yanya, I, and for the men's lead. Oh, is it really? Can like I mean, at some point the Adam Andre Jakob Schubert you know duopoly on World Championships has to end at some point? But I'm gonna say it's not this year. I'm gonna pick. Ah. you know this is where I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna say Jakob Schubert wins, and my safety for all the disciplines is Adam Andre for men's lead. So Jakob Schubert's the pick. Adam's the safety. John, do you want the second this time? I will say for men's lead, I think he's going to carry the momentum from Briançon. We'll say Serato. Mm. Mm. I am going to say Jakob, but I too am going to use my wild card, Sasha Lehman. Ooh. Hometown hero. Pandering. Pandering to the giant Swiss audience of this podcast. Unbelievable. Yep, yep. both of them. Yep. All right, cool. Let's, uh, okay, let's, so we just did lead climbing. The next up historically is speed climbing, or if you live on the other side of the Iron Curtain, this should have been first. Uh, Skorost. Uh, yeah, uh, so let's do speed climbing. I'm not going first for this one. Eddie, you're up next. You're going first. Who's, yeah. men or women, your, your, your choice. I'm going woman first again, and it's going to be Ola. Jonathan? Oh, this is tough because, I mean, logic would tell you Ola, of course, but there's, there's such a <laughs> But I've never been a logical speed, Like, <laughs> one little slip. Yeah, but that's what uh, makes Ola special. She doesn't lose races. She doesn't lose races. I'll say Ola. I got I can't. It's, uh, yeah, I just can't bet against her. I'm 100% on board with you guys. 100% Ola Miroslav. Yeah. Men's. Okay, which takes us to the men's. Yeah. And I am going to say reset. Fuck off, man. What the shit is this? <laughs> I man, that's like that's the Albert Oak guess, but okay. All right. I can respect that. He had a great recent comp and and uh, a sleeper pick for a great jersey, Kazakhstan. Um, wins for the most cues in their uh, in their name. Big fans. So yeah, okay, Rishak Kaibulan, big. That's a ballsy ass pick. Yeah, yeah. Vedrik. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's narrow. But how can I pick against Vedrik Leonardo right now, man? Um, I I would be torn with Kiromal, but he's nah. he's got that injury. He's got that elbow thing, yeah. and so I think I, I think it's a for me it's a clear Vedri. Kiromal would be the best story, but I'm uh, yeah yeah I'm going I'm going. He's the he's the the closest thing you get to consistent the last couple of years Vedrik for sure yeah. Um, John, you're gonna have to lead us off for bouldering, the youngest of the disciplines. I, it's kind of a question mark because I know Natalia had 
uh, some you know health issues the first part of the season. <laughs> He's gonna uh, do or, it. Already, He's already gonna do it. it. He's gonna do it. Natalia. All right. Go man. with Natalia. All right. All right. Uh, have, sorry. Has uh, have you guys? Uh, I know Eddie. You use your safety, and I also use my safety. John, did you use yours? I did not. I'll, my you, safety. You still got your saved. Okay. I'll cool. use it here. I think my safety would be uh, Yanya. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And demotion for Yanni Garnbrev or whatever, it's fine. <laughs> um, she, for, she's a good super sub. Yeah, for women's bouldering, Yanni Garnbrev. Yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Yanni Garnbrev. Okay, for men's John. Now, now we're getting now we're getting into Spice Town. Oh, Who is the 2023 men's boulder world champion? Oh wow, this is. Um, I feel like I need to kind of peek back at some well, results here for the last um, for the last four world championships oh, oh, it's oh, been here. japanese men so no i know who i was i was like thinking i was like who am i i couldn't think of, mejdi of course mejdi oh okay yeah oh yeah, okay yeah. I, I like me of course that was a, a sense of certainty yeah, yeah absolutely i think so i think so and I, and I think it's a very good pick i hadn't even considered it, it. <sighs> men's bouldering Damn, dude. Do I pick a Belgian? It seems like the year to do it, you know? Not not actually. I'm not I'm not just going for the uh, not not just going, <laughs> You're not going for, for the, the kit. Yeah, style points don't get you anywhere in this sport, man. Um oh, shit. It's always the hardest discipline and this feels like the hardest year too. What is there to say? I really like the Mejdi pick. But Can I pass Eddie? Do you have a confident pick, or are you? Are you passing? Are I'm, you passing? I'm almost. Pa- I'm thinking about passing. I'm just like. Is, I, I, is that I, legal? Yeah. Because again, I, we, we I, like I form- we formulated pick. this conversation and with no research or time to actually think about it. We're like <laughs> locking in our, our. Yeah, it's tough, but uh, yeah. Uh, let me let me pass to you real quick, and let me. Uh... I, I'm going with new dad power. Um, new d- I think I think Tamoa has a track record of winning world champs. Um, he knows how to shine at those comps. Uh, I think he's got a bit of dad power and a bit of, he doesn't want to be surpassed by the next generation power. So I, I'm putting all my chips on Tamoa. Let be... me give you, let me give you a, just the most enticing scenario. Speaking of being surpassed by the next generation, it's Tamoa and it's Mejdi and it's down to the final boulder and like, they oh this would be so cool if it comes down to them and like whoever climbs it wins it ah oh, give me this i'm already getting excited for the world champion and it's a crimp slab <laughs> <laughs> um, and the comes out of nowhere yeah exactly um yeah what to, what to say that tomo like tomo would be like would it's not even not even a bad pick but it just feels like you know it's past his peak but it would be a it would be a huge deal um man that meji pick sounds so good I kind of want you know what I'm, I'll I'll throw a I'll throw a little wrench in here. I'm gonna I'm gonna you know I'm doing this one for Natalie Berry. I'm gonna say and and this is just because like all, what pick what with men's picks they're all equally good and bad. So I'm gonna throw one out to Toby Roberts just for all the stands out there because I'm sure I'm sure some people will like that. Let's say Toby Roberts. Let's uh let's say we get a British bouldering world champion. He was so close to my wild card for lead. Yeah, so, fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. This is a this is all a good lead into the combined this because is we're talking about Boulder and lead and let's the just ultimate prize. The yeah. ultimate prize, guys. All right, and I think it's back to Tyler for the first off. All right, well let's let's set the let's set the stage real quick. So for for speed climbing, the top two climbers go to the Olympics right away. For the Boulder and combined discipline, it's the top three climbers. We have kind of decided that this format, am I right in saying that this combined format is maybe a little bit more favorable? Now, I'm trying to remember this right, if, if we were feeling like it was a little bit um, like bolder 
uh, tilt or um, uh, boulder favoring based on the point distribution. I can't remember if it was that way or the other because no, we've it's, changed. It's, I think but, I think it's the other because we way. changed the lead distribution. So I'm I'm not sure which way it is now. You think it's lead uh, uh, lead balance now? I need to check that stuff again. So forgive me forgive me if I'm incorrect here, but I think it's a hundred points for topping the lead route and it's a hundred points for topping all, all four. four boulders and. Yeah. I I we I feel like we've talked about this before. You're right, but the statistics, if you look back, you're way more likely to top a lead route than you are to top all four to flash. We should say to flash all four boulders. Yeah. Flashing all four boulders is way more is way rarer. Uh, and, than... and I think to get basically even to get 75 points in bouldering is way harder than to get to the 75 point in lead. So okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so we want to say it, it's a little bit tilted to the lead. We should also say that this is going to be like 12 days into this competition in Switzerland, high pressure. I don't want to put too much expectation on the younger athletes for this because it is, it, I feel like I want to lean towards a vet. I feel like I want to lean towards a lead specialist kind of, I feel. Are we doing women or men first? Uh, well, I'm sorry. Can we pause yeah, no for one sec? Yeah, 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 yeah. John and I'll just keep going uh, we'll and talking, keep talking your, about that. We we should do. Uh, I think we should choose. Is there the any women surprise in women's? First. We should do women's first. Yeah, we should 100 yeah, percent do women's first. Yanya Garnbret wins combined for women. Absolutely. Yeah. Do you want to second that really quick? Absolutely. Let, lest anyone think that, because I I haven't chosen her yet. I chose. Natalia for bouldering and I chose I Mori for lead in case anybody thinks that I'm somehow not expecting to do ya to for Yanya to do incredible Yanya things I absolutely think she will I think it will happen in the combined discipline because that is the discipline that means the most to her it's got the Olympic implications this is going to be her mega statement Yanya Garnbrett combined discipline gold medal I think I I Easy pick, I think. So, yeah, Eddie, both of us have agreed on Yanya as the women's pick. We decided to do that one while you were gone. Um, oh, you're only doing one. You're not doing the whole podium for the Olympics. I'm not. That No, no chance. No. No chance. Yanya. John, did you uh, use your safety yet? I did. But I correct me if I'm wrong. Is this the first time that we're all in agreement on who the winner will be? Yes. Yanya, Yanya, is, Yanya yes. across the board. Yeah. I did yeah. use my safety already. Uh, so I guess we're doing the combined men's now. Who's up? So, yeah, it's uh, it's supposed to be me, apparently, unless you yeah, guys have been very convincing. Win I'm, I'm really torn on this one, man. But I want to... I want to believe, because I like the narrative and I admire this person as a climber, even though they often leave us wanting for not always being around, but the narrative from the last Olympics and the build up to that and the narrative to this one, I want to say this is like the ultimate revenge of Adam Andra. 2023 and 2024 is the closing act maybe of his very serious competitive career at 33 this year uh or no sorry at 30 this year pardon me i i totally just um uh, uh messed up his con yeah, confusing yeah. him with with two sorry. giant, yeah. giant him or something no i forgot <laughs> i forgot he was born in 93 i thought i thought he was born in 1990 for a second um my guess is going to be adam andra i think he has the experience now of going through the olympic cycle once already i think he has uh is is one of the most self-aware climbers maybe not competitors but self-aware climbers and honestly this is possibly a little bit more of a prayer than it is a prediction but i'm gonna say adam Andra is the pick for boulder and lead combined i love the pick tyler let me tell you why i think you are wrong <laughs> sure because colin duffy <laughs> no because i think that the i think the world championships because they they know there are going to be a lot of eyes on this because it's an Olympic qualifier and all of that. I think the route setting is going to be extra dynamic, extra coordinated, you know, flashy, jumpy moves because that is more of a spectacle. And I think that that flashy style of dynamic coordination, modern style, whatever, parkour route setting hinders. I, Adam Andre struggles with that type of 
route setting. So that's why I would, as much as I have the nostalgic feeling for your pick, I would love to see it, but I, I think the route setting is not going to do Adam Andra any favors here at the world championships. That's my re- rebuttal in the bouldering. Uh, my pick, I'm going to go with Toby Roberts. Win the find. All right, cool. Sure. I, I like the fact that um, Tyler's laughing, and I too am going Toby Roberts to win what combined. What the fuck is this? Are you guys serious? I, okay, let me hear it. Like, I, I, I gave a big preamble to set up mine, and you guys just drop a name after John spends like two minutes to tear down mine. And he's just like, I'm picking Toby Roberts, guy guy we barely heard about before this year. Okay, why? You, just, you actually just said why. First place in Brixen, bouldering. First place in Chamonix, lead. Combine them. Right there. Let less pressure hasn't had to go through it before, doesn't have so you know, Adam didn't make it in two thousand and nineteen because he stood on a bolt. Didn't make the combined show. Um I I think that will weigh on the Adam I think the older climbers come with more baggage and more it's now or never. So Fair. for me, I feel that it's going to be a Toby or Serato because they are uninhibited. They Everything's a bonus for them at this stage of their career. I think they can, you know, as me, I'm assuming Mejdi's doing combined. I'd put him in that same category that if you're a first time candidate, you you have less pressure than if you're an old dog wanting to go out on a high. Fair enough. My my counter to that, as I mentioned, was I, I don't think these young guys are going to have the steam to handle this event. I think this is kind of uh, uh, kind of their first serious season and whatnot. So that's my argument, but I respect it. We can agree to disagree. I don't know if you do that in the States, John, but here in the <laughs> other colonies, we still are I was going to say that. I- I was going to say Cheon So 2020 would disagree with your assessment. Wasn't she 16 years old in world championships? Something like that. There's no world championships in 2020, but it's okay. 2021 was pretty legit, but what are, 2021. What are, what are we yeah. talking about? Yeah. Yeah. But no Yanya there. So, you know, and it That's wasn't true. an Olympic true. year. So I don't know. Okay. Well, you know what? Um, yeah, we didn't get a chance to think about these, but let's just, let's just <laughs> stick by these and see what happens. Um, and if anybody in the comments is going to come back after the uh, after the world championships and say we were wrong, you are only allowed to do that if you put your predictions in in July of 2023. Any predictions after August 1st are garbage and you're not allowed to say you told us so. It's got to be now or never. So uh, put your money where your mouth is. There are no prizes. There is no money or mouths. <laughs> We'll see. What does the winner get? What if somebody if, if somebody runs the board and gets every pick right? What do we What do we get? Um, a, a plastic. I, I think fame, fame and glory. You become the next president of the IFSC. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Good I just meant for, yeah, I meant for us. If somebody gets it right, so uh, well, that's what we, I meant for any we, of us. Yeah, we could be sitting here looking at the next president of the IFSC. Yep, yellow and black shirt. No. <laughs>